Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Lawrence, back at it again. Uh, it's been about three weeks. Sorry for uh, the delay. Haven't made any videos since I haven't had any camera equipment. Uh, but I've had a bunch of new things that I just bought. Video quality, as well as processing time and everything become a lot better. So I'm really excited to bring this one to you today. So what I have right here is actually the LeBron James X Nike X Kith. Uh, to celebrate the Long Live the King documentary that they actually made together. What's really cool about it is obviously this box. It's got a really cool holiday type theme to it with, with kind of the goldish, goldish colors. There is the Kith logo over here. And then there is a bunch of other information on the back as well. So kind of the information back here, as well as finally on the front side, there is the actual shoe name itself. Opening the box for the first time. Oh, it's gonna rip. All right. Oh, wow. So this is everything that comes in the box. You obviously have the shoes. You have this Kith booklet. I'm actually not sure what's inside of it yet. It's, uh, I actually heard about this. So this is a way for people to lace these differently. I'm gonna see if I can do these later as well. And there's also another set of laces in here. These are rope style lace. They're kind of a cream slash pink, uh, if you light it closely. And they also have these gold, uh, rose gold tips on the side of, at the end of them. Now onto the shoe itself. There's a lot of details on the shoe. Um, actually, what's kind of really interesting is, I'm not sure if you can actually see this in the video itself, um, but almost all the pictures that you've seen, they, these color almost look like a grayish color, but when you see them in person, the battle knit is actually very, very, very pink, um, which I kind of like. It's, it's a very different way, and it's a very nice contrast compared to just the rest of the shoe. On the side, you can see that there is a large battle knit. It looks like scales, and eventually it gets a little bit uh, smaller as you kind of get to the top of the shoe. Uh, it's a very interesting contrast uh, to, to what typical fly knit looks like, which is relatively uniform. And so this was actually done apparently to, to make the shoe much more stable in general, uh, so that you can actually use fly knit base materials for basketball. Uh, it's, a, it's a new innovation that, that Nike made this year. Flipping to the top of the shoe, a uh, very interesting aspect of the shoe. It's the actual rose colored zipper. So you might have seen this in several Ronnie Feig videos uh, or, or pictures where he actually had a rose version of this where there were roses alongside of it. Uh, but this version has a rose gold zipper along the top and there, this is where all these lacing options come in that I'm gonna show you in a bit later. Uh, but obviously there's the, the, the pattern of, of the white lace up here as well. And then finally, uh, I'm actually gonna show you the inside in a little bit after I kind of go around the shoe. But what's cool about it is there's, there's some hidden things uh, all throughout the shoe that are debossed, which I think is really cool. Um, going to the medial side of the shoe, not much here. Uh, you're just gonna see very similar fly knit patterns or battle knit patterns on, on this side. So flipping to the back of the shoe is where things get interesting. Um, you're gonna have this rose gold Nike swoosh uh, that, that's done upside down. And I think that's a really cool way of actually hiding uh, the swoosh, which is sometimes many times overdone on some of the basketball shoes. There's also this pull tab on the back of the shoe that runs along the entire back. And what it has is a debossed Kith slash LeBron James logo over here. Uh, hopefully you can actually see that if we focus in on it, which is kind of cool. Moving to the bottom of the shoe, this is where there's, instead of the LeBron only line, you're actually gonna see the Ronnie Fi slash LeBron line here as well, which is a little more cartoony than the one you'll see from Nike directly. All right, so I'm gonna try to take this off right now so that you can actually see what's on the inside, but the laces, um, but there's both laces as well as the zipper itself. So I'm gonna zip these down for a little bit. Uh, be right back. So I unlaced these as well as unzippered it. And on the inside of the shoe with a leather strip that's debossed, it actually says Kith X Nike LeBron 15. Which I think is a really cool thing to have as you unzipper it just as a little surprise because I didn't see it at first. Alright, so here is the alternate lacing where you actually can just put the lace on one side of the shoe. And the reason that's possible is because you can actually go beneath the zipper. And what's cool about this look is you can actually have the zipper as part of the shoe and something you can just take on and on and off. When you have the laces done in the normal way, you actually can't do that with the zipper. So if you kind of look at it now, I can zip up just like that and there's the shoe. Uh, you can have the, the lace in the back, you can tuck it in, it's really up to you. I doubt many people are actually gonna ball in these shoes, even though LeBron James did. So that's, uh, that's one lacing pattern and this is the normal lacing pattern here. I think there's another third way of doing it, but I, I can't figure it out at the moment and uh, someone else will probably have to put that on, on YouTube. So what are my last thoughts on this shoe? The color is actually amazing. It's not that white color that you would expect. It's actually very, has a white base and has this pinkish florally purple base 
uh, that, that's knitted into it. And I really enjoy the fish scales and how those look. I really am a big fan of the LeBron 15, even though I don't really like uh, basketball shoes that much anymore outside of uh, several Jordans. So I really like that about it. And then you have this amazing zipper pattern here, which is phenomenal, right? The idea of it kind of being one of the coolest uh, innovations uh, on a basketball shoe, even though it's a lifestyle-based uh, basketball shoe, it's pretty darn cool. I mean, the fact that the, there's different lacing options, you can go underneath the zipper, which is not something I've seen before. Uh, Ronnie Feige, I, I think, did a really great job in terms of at least innovating uh, the shoe in a way where it's basically completely different, despite it looking exactly the same uh, as the other LeBron 15s. And then on top of all that, uh, you have this great outsole that I'm sure is amazing to ball in, even though uh, probably no one's going to end up doing that. And so I really, really think that if, if you can find a pair for, for closer retail or have gotten the retail pair, you're in luck on sizing. So how do these fit? I would go true to size. The typical kind of LeBron 15s uh, that I've actually tried on in store, I've gone true to size and these are actually not any different. I expected this to be a little tighter because of the zipper, uh, but for the most part, I would go with your true to size and whatever you typically buy for your LeBrons and or Jordans. It's, it's pretty similarly sized, despite the fact that the battle knit uh, or the fly knit versions of, of shoes for Nike typically uh, are a little smaller. But, but for the most part, I'd say for this basketball shoe and the LeBron 15 in general, go true to size. And that is a Kith X Nike LeBron 15s. If you can, uh, you can try picking them up on stock it's and goat. I'm pretty sure uh, they're completely sold out everywhere else for a retail price. I believe they're going for around like three to four hundred dollars at this point. Uh, the retail on this specific shoe is two hundred, and it came out to be at about two hundred twenty, two hundred thirty dollars after shipping and tax. If you enjoyed this review and, and like the content, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom of this video. It'd be great if you commented. I uh, would love to know your thoughts on the shoe itself and, and what you think about the colors and, and kind of the, the zipper patterns. Um, also follow me on Instagram if you like. It's also my squeakers. And I'm sure this is exactly what you've been waiting for, but uh, let's head to the on feed. probably join my collection as one of the few basketball shoes that I'm going to own.